This lesson is on counting units to find slope. Since slope measures the steepness of a line, you can find slope by counting the units of vertical change and dividing by the units of horizontal change. This formula is sometimes referred to as rise over run. Let's find the slope of line A in this diagram. Line A contains points A and B. You'll notice that the scale on both the x and the y axis is 1. So that means each unit on the grid measures 1. So if we want to find the slope from point A to point B, our rise would be up 3, which would be represented by a positive 3. And our run would be right 2, which would be represented by a positive 2. So taking rise of positive 3 over run of positive 2, we would get a slope of 3 halves. Now suppose someone else wanted to go from point B to point A. The rise would be down 3, which would be represented by a negative 3, and left 2, which would be represented by a negative 2. So rise of negative 3 over run of negative 2 would simplify to be 3 halves. So in either path, we ended up getting a slope of 3 halves. Slope is represented by the variable m, so we would say that the slope of line A is 3 halves. Now line A can be described as a rising line, because as we move from left to right, our pencil goes up the page. It turns out that all rising lines have slopes that are positive. Now suppose we want to find the slope of line B, which contains points C and D. If you move from point C to point D, your rise would be going down 2, and your run would be going right 6. So rise over run would simplify to be a negative 1 third. If we chose the path from D to C, our rise would be up 2, and left 6. So if we took our rise over our run and simplified, the slope would work out to be negative 1 third. So with either path, the slope of line B is negative 1 third. Now line B would be described as a falling line, because as we move from left to right, our pencil goes down the page. It turns out that slopes of falling lines will always be negative.